Well, it was a tough game here for the Wisconsin Badgers here at Camp Randall Stadium. They lose 28-13 here at home in week nine to the Penn State Nittany Lions, a top three team in the nation. It was a close game, close game for much of the game, but unfortunately Penn State pulled away in the fourth quarter. Let's break it down. First quarter, first half really, Wisconsin played well defensively especially. You know, they're, they're holding Penn State to only seven points in the first half. Uh, really one productive drive that ended up in a touchdown. Elsewhere, they were stout. Wisconsin offensively were able to get a good amount, you know, traction going. They score a field goal on a drive. They score a touchdown. They end up going 10-7 at the end of the half with a good drive near the end of the second quarter to pull away with the 10-7 leave, you know. It, it, it was going to be a tough game. Penn State's got one of the best fronts in the nation. Wisconsin, obviously, still kind of working things out offensively, but penalties kind of helped them. They had a big shot to C.J. Williams working one-on-one, -on -one. and so they had to take their opportunities, and they did, you know, for the most part in the first half at least. Drops definitely plagued the way Will Pauling had to, Trutch Kekahuna had to, but unfortunately, Wisconsin, you know, they weren't able to capitalize enough on that 10-7 lead in the half. You come out of the second half, defense continues to kind of work well but the offense wasn't able to get any traction the killer was when Braden locked through that interception a pick six that gave Penn State the lead when it was 10-7 ends up being 14 to 10 with the pick six from Braden Lock deep in Wisconsin territory just a, a play Braden Lock really can't have there on third down when you're talking about a situation where Wisconsin just needs to protect the football trust their defense and things like that third and long and it was just an unfortunate situation. Penn State from there, 14 to uh, 10, they ended up holding the lead for the rest of the game. Wisconsin had a field goal opportunity, ends up going 14-13 to start the fourth quarter. But the Badgers, too many three and outs. Penn State was able to capitalize. They end up winning 28-13. When you look offensively, Badgers weren't able to get enough on the ground. 59 yards for Tawee Walker on 22 carries. He had a touchdown, but 2.7 yards per carry was just not good enough uh, in this game. Penn State was all over Wisconsin when it came to their fronts. Walker acknowledged Penn State just out-executed the Badgers when it came to the run game. Uh, you know, their defensive line was all over the place. Just unfortunate because that was really Wisconsin's bread and butter over their three-game win streak. In the passing game, Braden Locke completed just 52% of his passes, um, you know, just the inaccuracy was an issue, but it wasn't just that because Wisconsin had four drops early in the game, a couple from Trutch Kekahuna, a couple from Will Pauling, passes that just got to be completed. Some of them were tough catches, but when your quarterback puts you in a better position to succeed, you got to be able to find a way to capitalize on those opportunities. Wisconsin didn't, and that's when you, when you look at a result like this, that's kind of the, the type of plays that you end up looking back on the film and realizing, shoot, you should have capitalized more. That ends up changing the game in the second half. Defensively, I thought Wisconsin was stout. You know, when you have a two-headed monster like Catron Allen and Nick Singleton, Singleton especially was pretty quiet. Allen had a couple of runs where he was able to break away. But for the most part, Wisconsin was able to hold them, uh, you know, especially through the first three quarters, hold them to just seven points in the first three quarters. Only one defensive touchdown. Obviously, Penn State kind of broke away in that fourth quarter to score two touchdowns, get 28 points on the board. But I thought it was a good performance defensively. Um, obviously, Penn State dealt with the quarterback injury to Drew Aller, a knee issue that cost him the entire second half. But Bo Popola, he comes in 11 to 13 for 98 yards. You know, a shorter passage for the most part, but he was able to get enough to put Penn State in scoring positions. Good for him. Really, this game was just about opportunities. Wisconsin could have capitalized enough offensively. That leads to some defensive wounds after a really strong game defensively. They end up losing by two touchdowns. This is one that they're going to have to watch the film back, but they fall to 5-3. and three. They're going to face Iowa next week on the road. Chance to become bowl eligible, obviously a trophy game, just one where you got to you know flush away the bad, think about the good, learn to build on the good, and you got to figure it out. But once again, similar to how the two losses were to top 15 opponents in Alabama and USC, it's a disappointing loss where Wisconsin really felt like they were in it before they weren't really in it. That's the unfortunate reality. They end up going 5-3 and three here on a Sunday night here at Camp Randall Stadium. But more to come here at Bucky's at the Quarter tonight, as well as throughout the rest of the week, about this game and about the Iowa game. So stay tuned, and we got you covered.